Hello, people, this is Mike Jim II. We are back to Let's Play Orcs Must Die. Oh, yes. Now, I didn't really explain this before, but every time you get a new cutscene at the beginning of uh, one of the things, whatever, which one you have, like, at the beginning of the hallway, that's actually the beginning of the first act. At the beginning of the Chaos Chamber, when we had the cutscene, that's the beginning of the second act. There are three acts in all in this game. So we're doing pretty well for ourselves. Now we're going to be heading off. Oh, by the way, I five skulled a cash chamber. I was pretty speedy, and I made sure nobody got by. It was pretty much with the help of the uh, flame brace. So there you go. Now time for the arena. The arena is a very uh, overwhelming stage, by the way. The um, pounders is the new weapon for this one. Hang them on a pr you have to hang them on a pretty low ceiling, but when you do, they usually crush regular orcs. I believe the upgrade also causes stun, just like the push traps. So there you go. Really, it's only going to be useful for orcs or um, null hunters. Which, by the way, they don't show up in this level. I, I had to. I, I did this recording before. I restarted the level just so I could show the thing in the spellbook, and it didn't do that. Anyway. So now the order sent me to the fortresses on the western line. It's a dangerous region, but I laugh at danger and at kittens. They're just so cute. Yes, they are. Now then, to you, 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 need the flame bracer, the archer, the pounders, you, you, and we need the wall blades, and we have one more. Uh, which one should it be? I got pretty much the basics. You're gonna need the barricades for this level, trust me. Uh, tar traps are obvious. Pounder, it's obvious. Wall traps, eh. I want to take one of these right now. I'll, I'll take the Alchemist Satchel like I did last time. Now then, this area is huge. The, the difference between you being between the wall and the rift are very short. How do you get by this, Mike? Well, the way you do it or the other, other white is use barricades. Now, you could place two there, but because if you're smart about your barricading, you should be able to get more than that done. This just doesn't seem fair. See? Now walk right around it. Which is a good idea. Remember to watch those lines when you're playing. Looking good. Now, does that work? No, because then there's a spot right here. So, I'd recommend wasting three right here, because if you don't, they will come around here, and that causes huge trouble for you. Now then, I recommend still setting up a kill box oh, like the usual. Hits. Because, well, it's still useful to do that. Now then, let's start. This setup should be good. Now then, let me show you the Alchemist Satchel. Pretty much is acid. Oh, now they have shields, meaning they can take an extra hit. See? Some enemies now have the ability to take an extra hit, especially with the shields on. All the ogres in the reg... See? Even with the acid. Shields. I've never really used the Alchemist Satchel that well. It's pretty much just like the Flame Bracer, except for you could use, you can pile a lot of enemies anywhere from where you explode them at. By the way, you right-click to throw them, and you uh, left-click to detonate them. Haha. Uh -huh. Yeah, something about a voice. Did you guys hear that? Sorry if you couldn't, but that was a voice talking about the ogres. That was odd. As you can see, these barricades are really blocking stuff. And I do apologize, you can hear, barely hear shit in this game. And it's not the music that gets in the way, it's the sound itself. This game really needs subtitles. Hopefully the second game helps with that. Nope, fuck you. Stupid fucking things. Now, I'm always worried that the gnolls, not the gnolls, the, the kobolds will be able to get their asses through the tiny cracks in the wall. And we're done already, that's uh, pretty sad. Nice. Outfit, I have yes. So many things to show. There Until we go. Later, I suppose. Yep. Now then, I recommend just kind of placing the pounders on the ceiling around. They don't cost, they, they still cost a bit, but not too, too much. And I will place a few over here in case a cobalt or two gets by. So there you go. You can put them on top of there by using the portals though, which is probably the better ideal, but I'd rather think about what I'm doing right now. See, here's where the archers can get 
the archers, the archers get weak because they don't hold shields. God, this alchemist satch is actually pretty boss. There's the pounder for you too, so that's uh more weapons being used. Yay! I need to heal after that one. Fuck. Now then, you will see an orc at the end of level. Fuck, I was that's one weapon I didn't take. Fuck. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to kill the orc myself. That's gonna leave him. There we go. Gonna need nice good things of uh Oh, sad archers. The archers can get really annoying in this level, even on nightmare mode, because usually they're the ones that are going to be costing you your part time. Uh huh. Not gonna lie, this thing didn't take more energy. Well, if this thing took less energy, it'd be pretty broken. Heck, stick it with the mana well, it'll probably be fucking ridiculous. Uh huh. Step right this way, Mr. Orc. Orc, the other other white meat. A treat for you. Ah, uh, this game's so much fun. No, I can't remember if you see the um. Gotcha. Ah, uh, stupid crossbowman. I can't remember whether or not you see the orcs only. The orc. No, no, no. I believe at the second to last uh, wave, you see one orc. At the very last wave, you actually see two. Kind of a problem. It's actually a pretty good idea if you keep arrow walls and to put them over there. Because if you put them out, as soon as they start walking out, you'll start hurting them, which is pretty useful. That's right. Ooh, gross. Very gross. Now then... A little present for you. you. One, one for you. And one for you. <laughs> Try this on for size. Ooh, shiny. And I'll stick a few up here. The crossbowmen will pretty much be able to get to them, but that's besides the point. There we go. God, what's with the fucking crossbows? Everywhere. Crossbowmen. Crossbowmen everywhere. Good time. Good time about one or two down. Now then! Ah, dead. I don't know, did I not make it obvious when I first started playing that the uh, you don't have to worry about getting hit by your own traps? You are immune to every trap you have. So, it's pretty easy. You times four. Needed that. A little present for you. Some new decoration. Now the next one's gonna be a problem, so we gotta be careful here. By the way, putting up that flame wall, if they have the shield, if they have a shield, which they will in the first when you first start playing Nightmare, the all of them will have a Nightmare Warrior, which I've already said. Um, they will get past that shield. They will get past that flame wall without taking damage, which sucks. Uh-huh. Now then, time to put up more of these fuckers. There we go. See? That guy survived. He probably shouldn't have survived, but he did. Life sucks, doesn't it? Oh, now here's an idea. I'll put you there. Because the only one who's going to get past these are the orcs. Say orc. Fuck, I'm staying back. By the way, a few more of the uh, famous quotes that the orcs use as part of the joke are, um... Get closer, get closer, get closer... Yes, you are. Oh, damn, here comes that orc. Or, uh... This guy says winning after sometimes when he wins or he kills a monster. There we go. 
That was pretty easy. There's winning, and every once in a while, the guy, the orcs would jump up going, It's a trap! Here's a very last level, and oh my god, so much lag. Can't speak correctly. Now then, the question is, what do we do? And we can put some... This should help, and... Decisive. There we go, now these guys have flame arrows. See? Flame arrows. Uh, as soon as you have the flame arrow, and remember the whole count thing? Where some things count? Like you see, yeah, see the, the combos? Yes, uh, as soon as you have the flame arrows, they count as two if they're counted, so... Very nice. So if you're doing this for high scores, you're gonna need the flame arrows. See, there's one orc. And there should be another one over there already. Son of a bitch. Okay, one dead. One dead. Just die. Just die. No. There we go. Gotcha. Kicked ass there, man. Nice. There's the arena for you. It's pretty easy if you know how to figure it out. Five skulls, son! Now then, ooh, we did... Yeah, usually if you do the barricade thing, you're probably gonna make the part-time. Nightmare mode, it becomes a bitch. So, yeah. And another point where my rank is higher than my high score. That's... that's sad. Now then, uh... I have grades that we got now. You see pounders. Pounder also stuns enemies. And, yeah, cheaper. I've already showed that stuff. Wait, nope. Stuns targets, yep. Do I call that... Oh, no, they both say stun targets. Never mind. Mupailed. So, there you go. Now, I forget what the next one is, but let's go on. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Hope you guys enjoy. This is Mike June the 2nd, signing out.